we have played chess for hundreds of years and we finally have a few, uh, new form. This is 10 times 10 instead of 8 times 8 which means we have 100 squares instead of 64 and a new piece that's called a seeker piece and um, seeker is moving uh, like the queen with the difference that it's uh, either up seeker or down seeker so when uh, up seeker moves forward it becomes a down seeker this means that it can only move sideways or backward down seeker can't move forward and when it moves backward it becomes an up seeker again it can only move sideways or forward but not backward if you have an up seeker and you move it sideways it will be your decision whether it's an up seeker or down seeker so you can uh, either sustain or convert it other pieces are normal there is more cavalry and uh, riders which means knights and pawns and since 64 square game has half of squares field we do about the same here from the beginning so the game starts when white adds a pawn to your own side and uh, there are already two knights added for both sides it's in in these squares now the first pawn goes anywhere to available square on own side I decide to go here black counters here and now the rule is that when you place three pawns to your side white will place one to fifth rank one to fourth rank and one to third rank in any wanted order well I like to open with the queen side so I place these more on the king side and uh, black is placing them a bit more many where okay now uh, one difference is that uh, we can move three squares with the pawn normally it's been just one or two now you can start with the three and uh, let's say I start with three here black is a little bit more careful and goes two now I continue with strong on the queen side so I go three again black goes three now I go to and let's say black comes with the cavalry and uh, I like to sustain my seeker piece so I move it a bit forward like a queen now it becomes a down seeker so I can only move sideways or backward when I move with this the next time this is how it opens and uh, if 8 times 8 has uh, lasted about 40 moves this can easily go over 100 or maybe we see a game with 300 moves and uh, when a pawn has moved which means that it's no longer on the 2nd or ninth rank it can only move uh, one square so a pawn that is uh, already developed uh, is only moving one forward or or captures opponent's pawn now there are a bit different rules with the costling 
and this is also uh, three uh, three square rule. Hope you can see it. But if I castle queen side, I go three towards the rook and rook to the center side. For the king side, again three towards the rook and rook to the center side. And the same rules apply as normally that if opponent is cutting the king's move, it's illegal. But if it's, uh, let's say, a bishop is here, then castling is allowed because it uh, only rook goes over the uh, looked square. Then en passant is also a bit different, albeit very similar. So let's say we have such. Okay, I'm trying to clear a bit way for the camera here. So let's say I move three from the start. Now black can capture this normally or take in passant to the square behind it and also since it jumped over these two squares black can also capture it to this square so the en passant is uh, a bit different and as normally the possibility is there for only that move then let's go to a combination and this combination is uh, important with this new seeker piece. Let's ignore most of these uh, pieces here. And uh, we make the combination with this. Okay. White is having um, a bishop and uh, a pawn that is about to promote. Now, pawn goes to one square from promotion and black protects it with uh, his seeker piece. It's a down seeker, but he moves it sideways and decides that it's still a down seeker, so it protects the promotion square. Now I put my bishop between the seeker piece and my pawn and uh, black tries to again protect uh, this promotion square and this is how the combination works. When black captures my bishop it becomes an up seeker which means that I can uh, promote the queen and black cannot capture because it can only move sideways or forward. Now it's a check and I can fork this seeker piece so when the king moves I will probably get a winning game. That's the combination. So, we are going to have a lots of fun with the game because it's totally new now. It looks like 8 times 8 game is solved. We can publish more of that, but uh, we as humans want the mystery that is upheld by something that is not solved. And it will not be such much theory, but more the beauty of chess for future centuries.